Well, we had planned to split up the work right now because we were missing some supplies, but we wanted to redo the marker alignment. But we wanted to redo the alignment of the markers and one of the alignments that we did at night because at night you can't really see them well. But I want you to see this. This square and this square are simulating a vault and these are probably roots inside the vault. This time we are in a special exploration because we intend to find the treasures of the famous shepherd Pedro de Astorga. Who was this man? Well, he was a bandit who ravaged all the regions of Guanajuato and San Luis Potosi and especially in this place, many stories and legends are told about him, of his robberies as well as his hidden treasures. Here I am marking the hill. Let's get started. Distinguish what the eye collector is. The eye collector has to be in an area of this part of the hill of this part of the hill, which is the first thing we are going to locate. Well, it is in the first high part. In the first part. Not in the highest part, but in the first high part. As a consequence of what our colleagues have just referred to us, what we have to do now is to locate the marker locations. Go ahead, looking at the routes to follow, checking that there are no dangers related to the search. Let's make the most of the expedition. We can make the most of this expedition because we are already in a more historical place where we can take advantage of the area in what, in a historical sense, in an educational sense, for the symbology. So let's see how we do in this expedition.